I'm joined by Texas Congressman Lloyd Doggett, who serves on the Ways and Means Committee. He's the new chair of that committee, has also separately said that they plan to get Trump's tax returns. Pelosi says it's one of the first things we'd do. Uh, let's get to all of it. Congressman, uh, starting with the speaker's statement there, uh, why do you think uh, she is choosing this week to say the president can be indicted? Do you agree? Is that part of how the House is going to look at um, the potential legitimate outcome of the Mueller probe? Well, Ari, as you've been discussing with Donna and Katrina, this has been an exciting and hopeful day here in the House, but we are already at work at this moment on the work of trying to end the shutdown. And uh, the next step up is uh, ending the impunity and demanding some accountability from President Trump and his corrupt administration. Uh, I think the Speaker is correct, but the basic principle is not all the fine details that probably do need some more study of the legal memos, but the principle that no person, not even Donald Trump, is above the law. And that's what we need to be speaking out about. Uh, and I don't think we ought to write off the possibility uh, that the president could be indicted. Hmm. That's, that's quite a statement and not a normal way to start the Congress, uh, talking about indicting presidents, having the government shut down, but that's the Trump era. On the taxes, uh, this is one of those things that your committee can do under law without the Republican Senate. Uh, there's been talk about it. I just said Pelosi says she uh, supports it. When do you see this committee led by your chair actually pulling the trigger on demanding his taxes? Well, I hope that it will be very soon. Over the course of the last year and a half, I've made motions that Republicans have blocked about half a dozen times in our committee. As you indicate, we no longer need a motion. We just need the signature of the chair of the Ways and Means Committee uh, on a letter uh, to the Internal Revenue Service. It's an almost century-old statute. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require a subpoena. But we should, uh, it's reasonable to be thorough and uh, careful in the way we submit this and make it clear. It's a part of our legitimate legislative responsibilities to ensure public confidence in the tax code, to take a look at how big a huge tax break, estimated at maybe more than a billion dollars, that Republicans have already given the Trump family through their huge tax bill last year, and to take you, a look at would you whether say the do IR, it, Would you say you'd yes. do it by the end of the month? Well, I'd like to see it done that soon. Uh, it's up to the chair as to when he makes the formal request, but I'll certainly be encouraging prompt action because uh, though uh, Secretary Mnuchin indicated in one interview that he was ready to release these, one could expect only obstruction and delay from the Trump mm -hmm. administration. So the sooner we make the request, the sooner we can begin the process. Uh, and I think we also need to see, as we look at those records, whether the IRS has uh, pro properly audited Trump. That's the excuse he always used, that he, he needed to get the audits complete. Well, we need to look at how that auditing has been done Do you think he might uh, have as been, a part of our work. Do you think he might have been misleading the country about whether the audit <laughs> was a reason to hold it back? I think Donald Trump misleads the country just about every day on the hour. Uh, lies and more lies. Uh, it's, it's a way of life for him. Uh, so yes, uh, part of the misleading, part of the accountability and an end to impunity is to get the facts and let people see what they are. Initially with our careful and thorough non-political review and eventually perhaps through releasing some of this information after a vote to the public. Yeah, well Congressman Doggett, as you mentioned, you've been involved in this earlier. Now you guys have the power, so it's very interesting. Uh, we'll be keep an eye on you and your chair. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you very much.